Welcome to Attack at Trucker and Car Series. Today we're at the Petty uh, Museum. It's in the Randall, Randall area. Well, this is actually Level Cross exit, North Carolina. And uh, we noticed these, these are Daytona cars. The 42 is the Lee Petty, 1959, that's that's what the style was. Uh, let's see. 43's Pitt Richard Petty. He had the Charger. 1973. And Pete Hamilton was 1970. So it had been similar to Richard's car. So we don't know if we can go in with the, with the video. Maybe not. But we can show you what it looks like. Oh, uh, well, these are the ghost cars. Yeah, because it's got like mold on it. But this, we got an actual, we got a real car up here. Yeah, so that's somebody else's car, though. I'll take a video of it. We talked to him. He's, it's a 66, uh, it's a numbers matching 440 Chrysler Charger. Hey, welcome to Attack and Adventures today. Uh, This is a 1970 Monte Carlo. Can you move the thing itself? Is there a price tag on there? Why, why would they have a $50 price on there? Maybe at the time it looks like it's signed. I know they ain't selling that for 50 no. Be. They're signed. Nineteen eighty seven Pontiac. Zero wins, nine top fives, thirteen top tens. Buick Regal. Richard won his seventh Daytona 500 in this car. He had three wins, 12 top fives, and 16 top tens. He finished eighth in the Winston Cup points. This car is best known for the gas and go car. This is the 1970 Superbird. Mr. The King finished fourth in the Grand National Point standings. 40 starts, 18 wins, 27 top fives, 31 top tens. Richard missed six races this year because of a crash at Darlington. Ford 1969 Ford station wagon. This car was bought new for Linda Petty in 69. She drove it around town into all the races. She served lunch to many of the crew members out of the back of this car. 
it was later sold to a family Randleman or a family in Randleman. Years later, Richard bought the car back and restored it. When Pixar was making the movie Cars, they wanted L Linda to have a part. They asked her what car she would like in the movie, and she told them her 1969 wagon. The suit was worn by Richard Petty at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in West, Sus West Sussex, England. Say that ten times. And his trophies. I don't even know what kind of, oh, it's a Plymouth draw. I don't know what. It's a 1967 Plymouth. Oh, it is? Yeah. This was Richard Petty's winning in this race car. He won 27 races and 19 poles. He was the 1967 Grand National Championship or champion. Won the most races with that one, huh? Four-speed car. We're from Pinehurst, so it has a Pinehurst um, Concours de Elegance racing cars, fast in the class. <laughs> Did you know that? There's a '59 Oldsmobile hard top. Look at the front, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's all the way that you can. Look at the lettering of the Oldsmobile. Yeah, I've never even seen one of these. <laughs> this basically looks like hubcaps in the front, don't it, huh? Look at the back, too. That's okay. Another way to. A lot of people only see the front or the back, so. Can't go right behind it because there's something there, but yeah, that's nice. Exhaust coming right, right through the trunk. We're, we're in the trophy area right now. This hat. <laughs> Number three of five hundred going porcelain cars, race cars. I don't know what year that is. Looks like about a fifty nine. 62 Air Force One Reagan Library He's with Trump right there Presidential Medal of Freedom presented to Richard Petty, George H.W. Bush, December 11th, 1992. 
it's in the world of stock car racing. There's only one king. Richard Petty is more than the racing's monarch. He is an American legend. Nineteen sixty or nineteen twenty six Model T. The car belonged to Lee Petty. He bought it because it reminded him of the car he first dated his wife Elizabeth in. Richard bought this car from a man in Martinsville. He bought it when he was driving a Dodge in the seventies. I used to have 1933 that. I used Dodge. to have a bike about like that. Oh, in the back, back there. Yeah. I was going to say. We had a five what? horse Briggs, Briggs and engine and uh, we ran it out of oil. We I was going to say, when did you have a Dodge 1993? You never had that. Barracuda. You can tell that thing was fast. Yeah, 1964 Barracuda, 43 junior dragged racer. Probably when, eight, eight, seven or eight second quarter. <laughs> when Chrysler boycotted the first half of the season, Richard started drag race and he completed the second half of the season with NASCAR. 14 races and won four. He finished 38th in points. nineteen fifty seven Oldsmobile. This was Richard's first car race car. He raced it as a convertible in fifty eight and his father Lee raced it as a hard top in fifty seven. He had nine starts that year. He had one top ten. He finished thirty six out of fifty in the Grand National points. There's the driver cooling system, cool suit. With a little fuel pump. Yeah. Push some water. <clears throat> Goodyear dirt track tire. This tire was made to run only on dirt. It was used at the first dirt race at Bristol Racetrack on March 29, 2021. You can tell the, the, the Hemi spark plugs running down through the center of the um, valve cover. Hmm. Elephant heads. This engine right here in front of us was outlawed by NASCAR. Maurice Petty put it in his 1936 Chevrolet street rod that was once driven on the beach in Daytona in 1958 by Lee Petty. Richard Petty's 1992 Pontiac Grand Prix. The King Richard Petty took his final lap before retiring in 92 in this car at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Did he wreck it then? Yeah, probably rubbed something. Oh, they show a picture and it caught on fire. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a picture on top of the hood. That's what happened to it. Well, when it, that's how they lost the fenders from the explosion. Now this is nice. Dodge Challenger 09. The legacy car 09 Dodge Challenger, engineered and pat and painted by Petty's Garage. Nice. A chrome on that one. Yeah, hardly. This was a personal vehicle of Richard Petty.
all the little stock cars, match boxes. Somebody must have bought those as a set because he's probably given some of them for free whenever they were right. But came you can out. tell that it's got the, all the same displays. I'm sure it was sold as a set. Commemorative. Look at the door of that car there. I don't. Lee Petty built his first race car in this reaper shed in 1949. Most of what you see in this exhibit are original Petty items. And it's a historic landmark. Designate, designated March 12, 2014. Where'd you go? Oh, you're looking at that. This is where he first built his car. Smells like it too. Like oil in here, don't it? Very cool. Very cool. It's dusty in here. All right. Thanks for joining us today at the Petty Museum in Level Cross, North Carolina. And uh, remember, smack that like button and go attack the day in your neighborhood. Thanks for watching.